I want to quickly mention and talk about a cold wall 2023 pre fall. Oof, it looks fucking good. It looks fucking amazing. Um, it's pretty clear now from the interviews I've been reading about my man Samuel Ross. I've actually got a going to go through one properly um he did a really good interview with financial times and another one with the zine in the lead up to his exhibition that he did which i went to towards the end which was really good um and just in general he's kind of pivot away from being a designer and wanting to be a contemporary artist which has been amazing to see but it's also been quite a bit of a mindfuck because in my head i guess my own how I kind of saw him and how he kind of presented himself to me when I kind of first kind of crossed paths with Samuel Ross was that he was very much kind of going down the Virgil path where he kind of went to build this behemoth of a brand in a Cold War, eventually get to a place where he gets hired by a luxury house to be the creative director and then kind of push it that way, right? But it seems like he actually done the complete opposite. And now he's kind of using the kind of notoriety from a cold war to kind of leapfrog and do other things that he kind of always wanted to do like contemporary art like you know making furniture like pushing his own separate creative practice outside of a cold war and now it's got to a point where i feel like a cold war kind of like runs itself he's not even like front and center of it anymore um you you basically see him promoting and pushing a lot of the kind of art stuff that he's doing a lot of the literature in terms of books um just a lot of the his own kind of personal projects you don't really see him front and center you know hand dyeing um garments cutting up stuff and working on stuff ideating it's more so him just focusing on the art stuff and it's been a very casual sorry it's been a casual it's been a very um purposeful and slow transition now you can tell it's something that he definitely did with some sort of intent okay i'm gonna make sure to step back here do this do that do that and now we've got to a point where even if i didn't read those articles it's clear to see from just looking at this that a cold war is just a label that's been able to kind of put out collection after collection without really thinking about the main figurehead anymore. You can just look at it just as a label alone. And again, that takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of skill to do that. So now they're in a position where the collection just kind of exist um, and it's going to grow the way it's going to grow without it being kind of, you know, the the flipping um, calling card of one person, which is pretty sick because then you can, you know, get in loads of people to come and help and contribute to it and add to the overall story, maybe tell a different story, maybe able to spin a different narrative, add different tones and textures or inspiration, bloody blah, 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 blah. All of it's absolutely amazing. All that to say, this is fucking hard. <laughs> it's really good. I looked through it earlier because I got a little alert via the email and it looks absolutely spanking. Everything in it from the outerwear to the cut on the pants to the shoes like it all looks so 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 good got this amazing reconstructed trench coat um you got this hoodie looks like is that what would you call that is that over dyed is that bleached i don't know what that is where it's kind of got this bronze effect it probably is bleach um with your cold wool logo on it that looks absolutely brilliant i love the look of that clearly that's going to be a bit of a winner with the kids out there this look um also looks flipping fantastic great one here with the jacket this um the shiesty snood mask thing they have going on as well is really awesome um love the cut on these flipping combat pants really not a fan of the elasticated bottom but i love these shoes even the footwears i think has been a really clever little thing that he's done with a cold war or the cold war have done it overall by having these really interesting silhouettes that i guess match um a lot with what they kind of do in terms of their clothing um and it also is silhouettes that i feel like are a little bit different to what you see out there in the market in terms of shape in terms of finishing fixtures all that good stuff it all looks really good like nice and minimal not much kind of you know there's not a lot of kind of panels all over the place a lot of one piece i'm sure most of it is functional as well so that looks really good um got a great hoodie also here with a nice scarf on the inside again some nice footwear this jacket is harder than hard this hood design is so cool so if you're not seeing this it's essentially a I, what do you call it, like a down jacket with a really amazing kind of finish on the top of the fabric right these really big pockets which i love one of my kind of go-to sort of interviews i remember or something i kind of hold dear when i kind of remember my choice in jackets is something i remember rick owen saying where he said whenever he makes jackets he always thinks about creating a jacket with pockets big enough to fit like a sandwich and a book in it because that's what kind of every person needs if you're wearing a jacket on a day out you need to be able to put a sandwich in there and you to put a book in there if need be and you know a big pocket like this you can fit a couple of books in there a fucking camera do you know what i mean 
maybe a shank, whatever. Like you can fit all of that in there. It looks absolutely great. But the best part about it for me is this hood design. So it's a zip up that goes quite close to being a full zip but it's got a gap just towards the top where the little where you can basically have your eyes poking out so you have this amazing sort of like t design that kind of kind of i don't know that kind of makes you look like um it's kind of got a little bit like of that kind of gladiator mask sort of style to it um or like the kind of stuff that they used to uh what were they called oh i'm trying to remember what they were called where they'll like, like you're kind of like a knight but you got the little slit on the inside. That's what it kind of looks like. So I really love the design on that one. Looks really, really good. Um, the Timberlands look actually quite decent with this. I wasn't really a fan of them when I saw them originally. They are Cold War Timberlands, but they suit the look really well here. Um, they're essentially, you know, regular Tims that you would know, but, you know, they probably switched the um, finish on them on the upper and then they've made them to be laceless and kind of probably had some elastic or something on the inside or changed basically how they look on the upper so you don't have any laces needed. So you have the um, Timberlands sort of silhouette without the laces and all the other wings and you know bells and whistles sorry wings and whistles um this red part this red bomber jacket or this red down jacket is a win for me i'm always a flipping sucker for red bomber jackets um red dove down jacket sorry so this looks absolutely fantastic the pants are probably the winner though in the look um i'm a big fan of combats overall but if you're gonna give me a pair of combat pants with some paneling oof, please god yes and some big pockets on the side there i'm all for it so that looks really fantastic the blue the hue on this blue is absolutely gorgeous like wow again that, that's that design with the hood so the hood kind of so the, the, the zip goes just underneath your chin so you have this kind of hole here that's sort of like a diamond design similar to what they probably have on the logo of a cold wall so you kind of have this really amazing little pocket that you can kind of have your head stuck out in the only issue with me with these sort of hoods is that my hair is still too big so it'll still make it kind of stick out so i have to probably get my hair braided to make these sort of jackets work and then the bag also looks really great um this fleece is amazing wow i've just seen this actually this looks really really cool i love the look of that fleece great sort of tote bag we've got a nice little trench again this reconstructed varsity jacket is sensational sensational it's essentially like they've put the varsity jacket through a fucking wood chip machine and then tried to piece it back together it looks so fucking good it kind of looks reconstructed but if you actually look at it there's not much about it that's actually reconstructed it actually just looks like it isn't it it's a really clever little design actually um little details here makes it look like it's been reconstructed but it hasn't I love this man and then you've got the applique with the acw um on the jacket as well that's also going to be a win Ooh, there's so much good stuff in this collection this khaki sort of overcoat vibe is great oh look they've got um wow interesting interesting so what i'm looking at here if i'm not if i'm not mistaken looks like either a cold war version of a nike air mock one of my favorite acgs of all time if I'm not mistaken, the mock was inspired by a fucking potato, the designer that made it. Um, it's essentially like a sock shoe that people wear to, you know, outdoors and stuff and climbing and shit. It's got no zips or whatever. It's just got like a zip tie to kind of, you know, fasten around your ankle. And I used to love wearing them all the time, especially when I used to go on holiday and whatnot. Um, to sunnier climates would be a good sort of like option instead of kind of wearing tether sandals with socks or without socks. Um, you kind of want to protect your feet and not have your feet exposed. But then also have the ability to have something light on, um, air mocks are definitely or nike mocks are definitely the way to go but sometimes the sole i feel like can be a little bit too low to the ground so maybe this is a bit updated it's got the mock kind of top with maybe a thicker type of sole at the bottom i should actually I'll make you actually see what you see what a nike mock looks like the vintage one because i had a pair i had a kind of nutmeg brown type of option that i used to wear quite often that i unfortunately sold but these basically are what mocks look like and they, I think they look fucking fantastic. One of my favorite shoes, best of of all time, personally. I absolutely love them. But I'm also a sucker for ACG, so maybe I'm not the best sort of like, you know, unbiased person out there when it comes to these sort of shoes. But yeah. Oh, I had these as well. I had these Finsulate ones as well. I had the Finsulate ones. They're fucking brilliant. So yeah, that's the mock, as you can see there. The Finsulate ones I had also super warm on the inside. Um, and I had also these, this colorway too, this sort of like nutmeg brand color. So I'm not too sure if that's like, um a cold wars version of them here or if that's actually just a collab they have coming out but either way i'm excited to see what happens there let's get out that quickly let's push this back boom 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 what else we got here we've got a khaki overcoat another good down coat. i think maybe the same one as a red one but in black 
Um, we've got a nice little hat here going on. What nicely designed there. We've got a print on the jack on the hoodie. You don't really see them do a lot of prints with, you know, artwork and shit. So that's pretty cool. Uh, moving on. Oh, interesting shoes. These look like they might be Hender schemes. Are these Hender schemes or are these just a Cold War's own twist? Because Hender scheme is that label from Japan, I think, that does these really interesting sort of like leather. Let's see if I can find them. Hender scheme, right? They do these kind of interesting kind of flips on shoes that you know, but like the designing kind of like this bespoke leather type material. Um, I'm not really sure what the point of these shoes are, but I do just remember them being a big thing at a time when I was collecting shoes. This was sort of like the final boss if you wanted to hey, get a shoe, where essentially like what you see on screen is a quintessential Jordan 4 and then kind of done in this sort of like tan, um, leathery type material. I don't really, again, I don't really know what the point of Hender Scheme is overall, but for some reason they do flips on just about every sort of like footwear model out there, to be honest. Let's see, you'll show you everything. They've got, yeah, they've got one, that they've got an Adidas version. Um, they've got one, looks like an Air Force One here at the top. They've got one for Reebok Punk Fury. They've got an NMD collaboration, Superstars. They've got an Air Force One type of shoe. So they do loads of their own little version. They've got a um, what looks like a Hender Scheme Margella Army sneaker. <laughs> Look, there's one someone made a mock-up of an a Yeezy. So yeah, they got all the kind of options that they do as well. So Hender Scheme, an interesting little brand there. So that might be the collab there. But that look is fucking beautiful, isn't it? That looks very much like a ready-made type of vibe there. I love that with the olive green and shit. That looks really good. And then we continue again with the nice jacket there and a nice vibe. And again, back to the start. So, yeah, um, a Cold War pre fall 2023 looks fucking fantastic. When's it going to be out? Um, available sex retailers from 16th, so today. So if you're available and you want that shit, definitely go and check it out. Loads of good stuff in that collection to see and to oogle over. Do not delay do not b